Hey y'all, T.S. Moth, aka Tyrannosaurus Moth here, and today we are looking at the Hasbro Power Rangers Lightning Collection HasbroCon 2020 exclusive Lord Dracon Evo 3. This is one that a lot of people are excited about, myself included, and uh, has a lot of good stuff, a lot of bad stuff. Uh, uh, I say a lot of bad stuff, but a lot of stuff that is questionable or could be better. So um, I guess let's get into it. Start off with looking at the aesthetics paint, all that fun stuff, uh, basically how the figure looks. So uh, looking initially at the paint job, I mean everything is super clean on this one, certainly a little cleaner than the Lightning Collection has become known for, uh, especially the helmet. The helmet is usually the first thing I look at on Power Rangers Super Sentai stuff because it is does tend to be the focus of the character design. And the helmet here, super, super clean. Let's see if I can bring it in. Um, as you can see, all lines are clean. We got no sort of bleeding anywhere. Nowhere seems to be missed, um, which is usually a big thing going on here. The only uh, mar or problem I could find on mine was just this one little like dent right there, which looks, it doesn't look like it's the gold, so I'm not really sure what it is. It doesn't come off, um, but that is what it is. Uh, the character design itself is great. I haven't read the Boom Comics, um, Shattered Grid, any of that. Uh, I do intend to, but I mean, it's a badass looking character, so I'm more than happy to have it. Uh, I'm glad I ordered it. Um, so clearly it's a melding of all the various um, Tommy Oliver suit designs mixed into one. They did a really great job here. Uh, color scheme is great. I mean, black and red always just looks awesome. And gold really pops on this thing. I mean, they, they really brought it with the gold. I know some of the stuff, like the gold art itself, tend to be a little uh, more yellowish. And that's definitely not great looking uh it's passable but this one all the gold absolutely fantastic uh so kudos to them on that i mean really they they brought it and especially for the price they're asking they should um this is a 50 dollars figure from hasbro bro con hasbro con excuse me and uh i believe you can still pre-order it as of this the recording of this video uh, which is in November of 2020. So if you're interested, you do have a chance to get it. Uh, beyond that, we got this cape, uh, which, I mean, cloth good capes are always better if they're wired, if that's best. I'm not expecting that out of most of these type, types of figures. Uh, I guess going further on aesthetics, I got a little bit of mark there from when it was pulled off the, um, the frame that it was molded on, uh, which, again, it's behind the figure. You don't notice it. I'm not complaining about that one. Um, the cape does come off. It's on these little pegs. Actually, I'm not going to take it off because it's kind of annoying to get it off and put it back on. Uh, but you can see it kind of hooks in right here. Uh, there's a peg in the middle. I'm hoping you can see that. Hopefully that comes out on the final edit of this. And then a peg on the other side, and that'll come right out. It goes right, it goes right back in. It's just a little bit of a pain to do so, which is why I'm not going to do it now. Um, and I think that's about it for aesthetics. Uh, so next, we're going to move on to articulation. And talking about articulation for Lord Dracon Evo Three, uh, pretty standard fare for the Lightning Collection at this point. Uh, range greatly varies on all these figures with the head especially because it depends on the helmet design and how they kind of cut the back of it uh, or the front of it in some cases and for here you definitely get some hindrance uh, from both the back of his shield here as well as the way the helmet's cut because it's cut a little low so you don't really get a lot of look of up you just kind of get slightly more than straight ahead Look down a little bit, nothing, nothing fantastic, but definitely you know you can get you can get a little bit of mood out of that. Uh, moving down, got shoulders, so we got uh, butterfly joints again, standard 
really good range on those. Uh, your arms come up to about a T, not really beyond that, which is fine, doesn't need to. Uh, bicep swivel, and you got your double jointed elbows, which give you excellent range coming all the way up, even with the gauntlets, so that's nice and impressive. Uh, you got your swivel at the wrist, you've got your hinge at the wrist, uh, that's true for both. Uh, no vertical hinges, all horizontal. Uh, for the torso, we have our cut here, which you can get your twist, your side to side, which again, the shield doesn't get in the way of, so that's always cool. Uh, and then you have the ab cut, which lets you get some ab crunch and some really nice bend back. Bring that back, and then we go down to the hips, and we got really good splits on this one. Um, I want Hasbro to have this good of splits on all of their figures, honestly. Oop, falling down there, that's the cape's more of a hindrance in this part. Um, honestly, that's really good range, that's better than most of the, certainly the Mighty Morphin Rangers get. Uh, so I hope they continue with this, and honestly, if they re-release re the, uh, Mighty Morphin Rangers with that, I would be super happy. Uh, we got our thigh cut and double jointed knees coming up. Can't quite get all the way there because of the, uh, the little shin guards here. Um, speaking of which, got boot cut on those shin guards. And coming down to the feet, we got our forward, about that much, coming up. Uh, not really at all, because again, it's going to bump up against that piece of the shin guard. And Hasbro is just great at doing that ankle pivot. Like, goes a, goes side to side for days. <laughs> so definitely a great addition and always a great piece of articulation from Hasbro figures. Excuse me, knocking into my camera. Uh, so that's about it for articulation. So next, let's get into the accessories. Of accessories. Uh, this is where a lot of contention comes in um, from other people, myself as well, just where, again, where it was hitting a $50 price point. A lot of us thought there's gonna be a throne or something like that thrown in, and not quite as much. It's still cool. Um, definitely it's stuff I would rather trade it out. Um, so starting off, uh, working our way, uh, first thing I'll go over is the Tommy Oliver head sculpt, which is fantastic. I mean, the, this is the same thing that came with the standard uh, first evolution Lord Dracon. Again, you can correct me if I'm wrong there. Um, looks really good. Super clean paint everywhere. Uh, only difference between this and the Evo 1 is you got the, the gray streaks, which are really well applied. Again, very clean. Um, I'm always going to display mine with the helmet. I just like the way these things look like helmet with that these the way these look with the helmets, pardon me. Uh, so you got that. And moving on, then we got hands. So he has two grippy hands, left and a right, and then he's got two super metal hands, left and a right. Uh, the grippy hands are a little wide. Uh, certainly compared to other figures in the line. Uh, if you want to fix that, all you got to do is heat it up, close them a little bit, and run under some cold water. Uh, that usually does the trick for me. These have been a little more resistant to that method. Um, and then we have Saba. And Saba is super clean. There's a little bit of extra paint here from when it was included with the White Ranger. And nice addition to this one, which I hear is in line with the comics, if I can do this and not totally run to my camera. There we go. Uh, head comes off, which again I hear is a plot point, so that's pretty cool. Um, the little nub kind of throws the aesthetics off, but how else are you going to do that really? Um, get that back on, there you go, because that will be super easy to lose, uh, and I know I will lose it, so that will never come off. Then we have the base. So this comes in with the, his foot is normally on this, kind of how I had it posed at the introduction of this video. And you, it comes with 
uh, four helmets. Uh, so we got Yellow Ranger, Pink Ranger, Green Ranger, and Red Ranger, all from MMPR. Uh, as other of your reviewers have pointed out, like it would have been cool if you got some other teams in there. Uh, you just got kind of a little bit extra, um, like damage paint on there. Uh, so nothing crazy. They do come off. They do fit on the other Rangers. Um, so if you want the damaged look, you want to have some more kind of fights going on and that sort of deal, you can definitely do that and that will look cool. So you got that and that's kind of cool. The base is super solid. Uh, as you can see, it's two pieces, uh, but I mean, it feels hefty and I mean, it's, it's cool. I, I definitely would have preferred a, uh, thrown. <laughs> But, I mean, th this works as well. Uh, also, there's a hole in the top, and there's two things that works for. Um, first one, let's see if I can get that in the frame, is for Saba. So you can put Saba in there. Oh, this isn't going to hold this time because I'm doing it on camera. Pretty sure Saba fits in there. Ah, maybe not. Oh, there you go. So you can get Saba in there. Some stuff like that. Or... Uh, our, we can fit our next accessory in there, and this is the one that I'm kind of blah about. Um, effects pieces are very hit or miss, naturally. I think they definitely have been in this line. There's been some pieces that I've absolutely loved. Um, but for this one, you get this ridiculous, giant, green, electric blast. And you get another one, too. One that stands, one that just kind of sits there uh, and I don't know if you saw as I was passing as kind of moving around actually I missed it or I forgot it uh, there it is we got a tab that tab and I found out of this because I watched D Amazing's reviews that that plugs in to that base so it kind of keeps it in place and that makes it a little bit easier to kind of work around Dracon himself just gives you a little bit more stability there uh, this one's a little harder to keep up. Um, you can hook it into this one. I'm not going to take time to do that on camera. Um, but you got, you got some options. Um, I don't like the way this, this green looks super good under white light. and Like, kind of, I'm not going to say cleaner lights, but uh, more, I guess, just lighter lights. But uh, I use purple in my display room, and then this turns the, the very hideous shade of a kind of puke green slash brown. Uh, so that doesn't really work in a display. And again, I think that the money that went into that could have been used for something just a little more fabulous. Um, yeah, so that being said, uh, let's move on to some size comparisons. Okay, let's get into some size comparisons. Uh, I got a few different lines here, so we'll see how they match up and just kind of give you a chance to see how it scales. Uh, so we're gonna start off with from the same line. We're gonna go with the Power Rangers Lightning Collection, Lord Zed, uh, one of my favorite figures from the line. Uh, obviously, that's gonna scale well. Zed being slightly taller. Next, let's look at something on the other side of the spectrum. Uh, we're gonna look at Neca uh, Terminator. Obviously not going to scale quite as well. The Terminator is like super large, uh, but obviously if you want to do photography, you can do some uh, forced perspective there, make things look a little more even. Uh, switching them out. Let's move on to some uh, another Hasbro line. So let's look at a Marvel Legends, a fairly, relatively basic figure, but one that also has a cape. So we'll look at Magneto, the black and red version from the uh, Apocalypse Wave, I believe. Uh, car pardon that knock, that was me hitting the top of my photo booth here. Uh, and let's look at another Hasbro line. So we'll look at um, the Mandalorian from the Hasbro Star Wars Black Series, uh, which also scales pretty well, to be honest. Um, Mar Legends a little tall with um, Lightning Collection, but again, you can totally make it work, especially with certain characters. Switch them up. Now let's look at some more uh, import lines. So we'll look at the 
Storm Collectibles Mortal Kombat Ermac, another one of my favorite figures. And the SH Figure Arts uh, Dino Thunder Red. I actually forget the Sentai name for that character, so forgive me for the moment. Uh, so again, SH Figure Arts running small, as I'm sure most of you know. Um, Storm Collectibles do run a little big. They're a little bit closer to that 7-inch um, it's a little taller than true 112 scale. Pull them out. I got one more to look at. Just want to look at another Hasbro line and was potentially my favorite figure of the year. We're going to look at the uh, G.I. Joe Classified Series Profit Director uh, Destro, who is running a little bit tall next to Dracon. Makes him look a little less imposing. Uh, so again, if you're doing photography, you might want to do a little bit of forced perspective. Uh, so then that boat does the comparisons I had planned for right now. And that's going to do it for the um, Hasbro Power Rangers Lightning Collection HasbroCon 2020 Exclusive Lord Dracon Evo 3. Um, as I said, it's a great figure. There's definitely some points that could have been better. Um, mainly, I think, in at that $50 price point, probably should have had something a little more substantial than some kind of overwrought uh, effects pieces and some helmets we've gotten for the most part. And, you know, I, I think at that price point, uh, I think something I didn't think to say earlier was I kind of think it probably should have had a dragon dagger with it. Kind of surprised that didn't happen. Maybe that's not congruent with the comics. Uh, you let me know. Um, after that, uh, I think it's about all I can say. Um, thank you for bearing with me. This is my, the first review I'm recording. I don't know if it'll be the first one I post. Um, so hope, hopefully these will get better as I go along. Um, and yeah, so with that being said, uh, if you want it, it should still be on Hasbro Pulse. I will include a link in the description to this video uh, if it's still there. If not, then eBay may be your only resource. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, comment, um, thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever you thought of it. And uh, I will see you in the next review. Be excellent to each other. Bye.